What's going on, guys? His squad here again. Back at it with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about some Giants news that's been going on, such as them releasing former six-round pick Corey Ballantine and them activating a familiar face, uh, someone we haven't seen in quite some time, that is going to be guard Will Hernandez from the COVID-19 list. Now, before I start, I do want to encourage everybody to like, Comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help out the channel. We've been getting more subscribers and more people commenting. And, uh, you know, I think it's cool. You know, we're building on something great, so let's keep that going. Now, Corey Ballantine, you know, former six-round pick. Let's be real, guys. Anytime he stepped on the field, he's been the weakest link on defense. He's made the opposing quarterback look phenomenal. You go look at the Chicago game last year, Chicago this year, Green Bay last year. Anytime Corey Ballantine is targeted, the opposing quarterback will look like Joe Montana out there. Um, it, it, it's it's sad to say, but even in a position where going into this season, our cornerback two position, and you could make the argument still is, um, it was a giant question mark. Corey, ba um, you know, Corey Ballantine, we expected to at least step up and take uh, somewhat of a role, but he couldn't even do that. With Sam Beal opting out, with DeAndre Baker possibly going to jail, you know, that it, it, he really hasn't done anything, and um, it, it, it's sad because, like I said, the potential was there, but unfortunately, we just couldn't tap into that potential. We've had to go get an Isaac Yadam. We've had to go get a Ryan Lewis, and it still really hasn't been working out with either of them. So that's definitely a position of need that we're going to have to address next offseason, but with Coy Ballantine being released, he is subject to waivers, um, and that just means that Dante Pettis, I would assume, is going to take his roster spot. Now, Dante Pettis, we picked up, I believe, last week. Um, you know, I, I think the Giants, it's safe to say, will carry five receivers, especially with how Austin Mack played last week. So you're going to be looking at Darius Slayton, Sterling Shepard, Golden Tate, Dante Pettis, um, as well as Austin Mack. Um, I think that they can use Dante Pettis, uh, Dante Pettis, excuse me, in a variety of different ways uh, that they couldn't use with Golden Tate. You know, he has some speed on him. He's good in the route running game, but... Hopefully, he's in physical shape uh, in order to play uh, Philly. Now, the Giants activated guard Will Hernandez from the COVID-19 list. Joe Judge did come out and say that he will ease him into the lineup, considering that he hasn't worked out, let alone been in practice for two weeks. So he's not going to be in uh, physical football shape, which I understand. I get that. You know, I would expect them to have him start and kind of do what they've been doing with Andrew Thomas and Matt Peart and just have him rotate with Shane Lemieux until he's 100%. I do think that Will Hernandez is our guard of the future, but, you know, until he's 100%, I would have them just rotate Shane Lemieux. Now, I'm excited to have Will Hernandez back because while Shane Lemieux has been playing fairly well, he does have some in uh, inconsistencies, excuse me, and he does have some things that he needs to work on. Yeah, Will Hernandez does too, but I think you can make the argument that Will Hernandez is a step above Shane Lemieux. Hopefully this offensive line can still keep that camaraderie and gel together the way that they have been gelling the last two weeks. So, you know, I'm excited for that. Um, you know, I I'm glad that, you know, Will Hernandez was able to come out of this okay. It COVID affects everybody differently. You, you can kind of make the argument with how Cam Newton has been playing the last two weeks coming off of the COVID-19 list. Um, it does affect – you can have some breathing issues. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that's going to happen with Juan Hernandez, but it affects everybody different. We still don't have a control of this virus or how it affects people. So I'm glad to see that Juan Hernandez is okay. Hopefully he can be 100% with, uh, by the bye week. Uh, we're going to have some players coming back, which that's exciting. But, yeah, guys. So that's really all i got to say. Let me know what your thoughts below. Uh, were you surprised uh, by the Corey Ballantine cut? Do you expect the New York Giants to address that uh, that position uh, next year uh, in the offseason? I personally think that they might look in the free agency market. I know that they might draft a player, but just, man, you know, the way that the Giants have been drafting corners the last couple of years, I would much rather prefer them hit the free agency market. Um, but realistically, I, they're most likely just going to draft a player. But let me know your thoughts below. This is Brooklyn Hit Squad. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.